Hello YouTube. Well today I'm going to visit the uh, home of the 8th President of the United States, Martin Van Buren. Let's go take a look. As also often happens to me is uh, I show up places that are closed on the day that I show up. In this case the grounds are open so I can tour around and I'll tell you a little bit about the history but uh, the building itself isn't. It opens up the end of May and here I am on the 7th of May. I'm a little early. It is open on weekends starting in mid-April. Unfortunately, this is a Tuesday. So, and I'm not going to stick around uh, waiting for Saturday to get here. Um, I have other things to do and other things to show you. So let's, I'm going to walk around the building a little bit and I will tell you some of the history of Martin Van Buren. He was the governor of New York for 71 days uh, before Jackson appointed him Secretary of State. Maybe he was his main advisor. And he did, uh, was not nominated to be a um, ambassador to Great Britain, but Congress did not. So he was the eighth president, like I mentioned, and he got elected the 1836 election after uh, Jackson and became president from 1837 to 1841. He did lose the presidency the next time around, but he tried running again in 1844 and lost to James Polk. Uh, I think a lot of the problems were he opposed the annexation of Texas, which did happen in uh, 1845. And during his term, there was a bad recession. So he really wasn't a good candidate. He did try again in 1844. Uh, like I said, that's when he lost to Polk. In 1848, he tried a third time, only this time he went as an independent or as a third party candidate, the Free Soil Party. And uh, he did not think he had any chance to win, but uh, he had some issues that he definitely wanted to bring before the public, and this was a way to do it. So that was his third run. Uh, at that, after that, he gave up public life, devoted his time to f uh, farm and family, and lived to 1862. He was the first president who was not a British citizen. He was born in 1782. The revolution was slowly winding down, being one. And uh, so he was born an American citizen, first president to be such. And along the way, he did oppose the expansion of slavery. So as more states were being added, uh, he did not want them to have uh, be able to have slaves. And sign of the times, that was part of the reason that he uh, did not succeed in uh, his other two tries at uh, the presidency. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a the front hall is a huge dining room table and uh, Martin used that for uh, political discussions and planning strategies for his multiple uh, runs for president. Now building being built in 1797 for uh, Judge Peter Van Ness and when uh, Van Buren bought it. He it, it had passed to Van Ness's uh, son, who uh, let it run down, and so he was able to purchase it for fourteen thousand dollars, which is a pretty good sum back in those days. But he took to renovate the farm, get the farm up and going to be profitable, as well as to modernize the house. So he, um, you can see like the, 
the tower. We'll get a better shot when I walk around the side, but the, you can see the top of the tower. That's uh, an Italianate tower. Uh, you would see that kind of thing on a lot of uh, Italian villas and such. You'd be able to go up there and be able to survey the fields around, I'm sure. But when they... Um, oh, and the, the front porch is like a Gothic Revival style. So when he did this, it also added rooms to the house. And that... And it was much more fashionable for the time. We're talking 1830s, uh, when he was president, 1837 to 41. And he lived to 1862. So a lot of what he did here was the fashion of that early 1800s. <coughs> Excuse me. He had four sons three daughters-in-law, 11 grandchildren, uh, ranging from infancy to 20, all living here at one time, as well as maids, laundress, cooks. Uh, the farmhands would come and go. Sometimes they'd spend the night. So this house was pretty busy. And then you throw in three bids for presidency, and a lot of the strategy was done here. This was a pretty busy place. The door knocker on his house has got the year 1797, which was when uh, the building was completed. And I think, I don't know for sure because there's nobody to ask, but with a split down the middle, I think this would be what's known as a Dutch door where you could open up the top but still leave the bottom closed. You get a better view of the, the tower. That's what, five stories? The house is two, two and a half. And then you add that up on top. So you get quite a view from up there, I'm sure. So Van Buren bought up and eventually increased the size of his farm down to Kinderhook Brook or Creek, which is just down over the hill. We can't quite see it. That white house over there has been heavily modified since the back in the day, but that was the uh, farm manager's place. And that marble monument over there on the other side of the field, that is the grave of Judge Van Ness, the uh, original owner and his wife. He honored his request or his son's request to have him uh, be buried here. Well, what I'm walking along is the old post road this is the probably the last remaining stretch of it that was remains unpaved. It's this is the major road from uh, Albany to New York City. And being that this was traveled by a lot of politicians and powerful people of the day, they would have stopped here at Lindenwood and paid respects to the former president. I'm sure part of the reason he bought this was the being the main road, uh, sending crops down to New York City, as well as politics between Albany and New York. Well, that's the end of my uh, my visit here to Martin Van Buren's place. I'm sorry I couldn't get to see inside. I'm not sure if they would let us let me uh, photograph in there or not, but uh, it, it is free. So if you're traveling along on the east side of the Hudson, and this is Route 9, or 9H is right out in front here. Stop in. Uh, looks like a, a very interesting place and just another president's place I've stopped at. So I'm going to get back on the road and see what I can find. See you later, YouTube. I'm sure you know by now is that I have set up a Patreon account as a sort of a chip jar. Um, not every place is like Martin Van Buren's home that's free. Uh, admissions do add up after a while. And if you'd like to help me out for as little as a dollar a month, that would be much appreciated. And uh, I will still be doing the videos for free. I'm still going to try to find interesting places. But any help would be appreciated. Thank you.